The college is broken down into five parts of the university. AACSB accreditation is the highest standard for business education in the United States, and we're very pleased to have that for our College of Business. Business also includes a rather unique program. It's the Russ Berry Institute for Professional Sales. Very few programs in sales exist in the entire country, and we're very proud to have one of them. College of Arts and Communication houses two major art facilities, as well as state-of-the-art telecommunication facilities for our communication students. Humanities and Social Science is one of the largest colleges at the university. And many folks who are interested in teacher certification, typically um, it's over 20 different majors you can choose for certification. Many tend to be the histories, Englishes, psychologies, and so forth that are found in humanities and social science, as well as a very high quality pre-law program. <coughs> College of Science and Health, as I mentioned, has a brand new facility that the science folks will get a chance to see and hear about today. And I was a chemistry major as an undergrad. Yes, I got talked out of being a history major. Trust me, any other science people here? Three hands? Oh, you're going to like what you see, folks. For, for a science person, there's nothing nicer than seeing brand new labs, new glassware, new hoods. It's very exciting stuff for science people. And of course, the College of Education, which is what we were founded at. NK accreditation is, again, among the highest standards in the country. We're very proud of that. The university is affordable. So for all the opportunities, both out of the classroom you've already heard about, and in the classroom in terms of our academic programs, we're a state-sponsored school. The total cost for tuition and fees for in-state students is a little over $11,000 if you're coming from out of state. It'll be about $18,000. To live on campus, the total is just under $22,000 for a New Jersey student, and about 28 and change for an out-of-state student. Financial aid in all its shapes or forms, loans, grants, merit scholarships, goes out to nearly three quarters of our undergraduate student body, and over $7 million was awarded in merit scholarships in the past school year. The only form that William Patterson requires to be considered for loans and grants is the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It's available after January 1st for those of you who are looking to enter the school for the fall 2011 semester. The university's priority deadline for receiving the FAFSA is April 1st, and that will ensure that you'll be among the first students packaged for your financial aid for the upcoming fall. Our Merit Scholarship Program for incoming students is broken down into those both for freshmen and for transfers, and they are generous partial scholarships. The Trustee Scholarship, which is for freshmen, runs from four dollars to $11,000 per year for four years. It's awarded on the basis of class rank and SAT scores. Students must rank in the top 35% of their class and have at least 1050 on the SAT, and that's just critical reading and math sections alone. We are using the writing section for that. Talent scholarships are available for music and art students, whether you're freshmen or transfer. Those awards can go up again to $11,000 per year, and that is determined on the basis of your audition results for music or your portfolio review results if you're an art major is based solely on the discretion of the faculty that review your talent. That's available for four years for freshmen and two years for transfer students. Presidential scholarships for incoming transfers are given for two years. They start at $3,000 per year for two years if you transfer in with at least 45 credits to the university with the cumulative GPA of all previous schools of 3.6. It jumps to $4,000 per year if you're coming in from a community college and you have either an Associate of Arts or Associate of Science degree before entering the school. Also for transfer students at community colleges, Phi Theta Kappa membership will benefit you. $4,000 per year for two years is the offer, and that can be in combination with talent money and with a presidential scholarship for transfer students. So there's some very generous opportunities both for freshmen and for transfers. Most of the awards do not require any specific application. The Phi Theta Kappa awards do require that we receive a copy of your membership information, and details and contact information about our scholarships is available on the university's website. 